Hi everyone! I thought I'd share with you all what video games I like. I love games, uh, the story, gameplay, music, everything. I've always been a gamer too. When I was little I had the original Game Boy, the uh, thick one. I also had a Sega Genesis. One of my favorite games that I beat so many times was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I could never beat the first one, but I loved the second one. I also remember recording the music from many games back then. I had a cassette recorder that I would put next to the TV to record the music. I even sang words to the music just to make my own lyrics. As I got older, I played the Nintendo 64. Um, I really liked Super Mario 64, but my favorite was The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Later I got a PlayStation 1, then beyond that a PlayStation 2. Around the same time I also had a Dreamcast, which was probably one of the coolest since you could actually play games on the VMU memory card. It was really awesome. I also had a GameCube after this. Portable devices, I primarily had, primarily had Game Boy devices, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, until I got a PSP. Uh, presently, the only game system I play is the PlayStation 3. I don't play too much now, but I used to be much more of a gamer when I was younger. I really don't play any computer games either. I, I don't know. I. I like having the, the game on a console, it just appears to me more, it seems. However, what is interesting is that I, I love emulators. I don't really play them, but I love testing them out and everything. Like, I have a, a GameCube emulator and I play GameCube games at pretty much full speed and HD widescreen. It looks so much better than on the actual GameCube console. And that, that really fascinates me. Even though I am not much of a gamer anymore, I still do like and play plenty of games, which I will discuss in a moment. I also really like watching people on YouTube play games. There is a handful that I really like and watch regularly. And one I really like plays a lot of Xbox Live indie game demos. Oh my gosh, uh, there are so many weird and even just playing silly games on there. It's quite amusing though. I, I, I like it. I love all sorts of games. Action, adventure, fighting, horror, platform, RPG, strategy, puzzle. And I especially love indie games or games that are just different from the popular ones out there. It would take way too long to list every game I've ever played or like, but I will list my top favorites. Other games I like and other weird, unusual, comedic or whatever else games that I think should be mentioned. So now I will share what my favorite games are. I really like many of the Legend of Zelda games. I don't remember what the first one I played was, but it was either Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64 or Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Uh, anyway, I remember I really loved both of these. Ocarina of Time was awesome. I loved the environment, the music, it was all amazing. Of course, I got stuck where, where most people got stuck in that game. Uh, those who have played the game probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, for Link's Awakening, that was an amazing world as well. I remember I got stuck at one point when I, I used a key somewhere that I wasn't supposed to and I needed to use some cheat device to walk through the locked door or I had to, or I had to just start over. I also really liked Majora's Mask. I really liked the mechanics of that game where you restart time after three days. It makes it so interesting. Plus the masks. I also really liked the uh, dark story and the moon. I cannot choose a favorite between this and Ocarina of Time since I love them both. Other games I remember having were both Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons for the Game Boy as well, and A Link to the Past, which I had for the Game Boy Advance. I never really played any Zelda games past this. I didn't really care for Wind Waker all that much, but I have seen people play this and other uh, future Zelda games, and um, I, I, I really enjoy the games in the series.
The next series I really like is the uh, Mario games. My favorites are probably the, the Mario Party games. No, not any in particular, but I, I really like the style of, of game. Probably the first game I played though was Super Mario 64. I really liked that one. I also had Super Mario World for the Game Boy Advance, which I really enjoyed. As well as Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube and Mario Kart for the Nintendo 64. Next is the Metal Gear Solid series. Uh, the first one I played was the Twin Snakes for the GameCube, which is a remake of the first one for the PlayStation. My favorite, however, is Peace Walker, which I have for the PlayStation 3. I love that game so much. I like, like how it is mission based and the weapons and all that. I also really like Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, which I have for the PlayStation 3 as well. I must have played through it this game like 10 plus times. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, which I also have for the PlayStation 3, was very interesting. I really like the change of environment from the first two, though I have not played through it as much. Next is the Resident Evil series. I love the earlier games of the series. The first one I played was Resident Evil 4, which I really enjoyed and played, th played through many times. Another one I really enjoyed was the remake of the first one for the PlayStation, which I have for the GameCube. Other than those two, the only other one I have played which was interesting was Resident Evil Outbreak file number two. Can't say it was my favorite though. Silent Hill is another series that I, I really love. I especially enjoy the creepy, dark ambient style music. I have soundtracks to the games as well as music, music extracted from the game, which is not on the original soundtrack. It's probably the creepiest music I've ever heard, which makes it one of the best for me. Uh, Silent Hill 3 was the first one I played and have played through it many, many times. I know the game and the story so well, um, and I, I got it when I was looking for a scary game a long time ago, and this was the first real horror game I got, and it was fantastic. I then got into Silent Hill 4, The Room. This was uh, very different from the other ones uh, in the series, and I think that is what made it quite unique. I also liked Silent Hill Origins as well as Silent Hill Homecoming. Next is the Sonic games. As I said earlier, I love Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Genesis, and it's still really awesome. I also really love Sonic Adventure 2, originally for the Dreamcast, and now I have it for the PlayStation 3. That is probably my favorite Sonic game of them all. I loved the different characters and missions. Uh, what was really awesome was that the Dreamcast version was you could put the Chow onto the VMU memory card and upgrade those stats on there really quickly. Mine was maxed out, but it was about to die every time I entered the garden, so I couldn't stay in there for very long. I also really loved the music in the game, especially some of the, the vocal tracks. And lastly, another Sonic game I had for the Dreamcast was Sonic Shuffle. It's like Mario Party, but Sonic but also some different mechanics as well. I enjoyed this game, though it was quite difficult, but I still had fun playing it. And lastly, this isn't one of my favorite games in terms of gameplay or anything, even though I do very much enjoy Japanese RPG games. Rather, this game needs to be mentioned because I absolutely love the story. I love games, especially many Japanese RPG games, which have a very in-depth story. I mean, you know, very long cinematics. And I think Xenosaga, in my opinion, has the best story of any game, or many other things for that matter. I love it so much and learned a lot from it because it is actually based off of many real philosophies and religions, so it's awesome. The next section is going to be other various games and series I really enjoy. The first is Bayonetta. I really enjoyed this game. I loved the super fast combat style and moves. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to play the second one due to not having a Wii U since it seems to be exclusive for that system. Next is the Crash Bandicoot series. When I was younger, I loved the ones for the PlayStation 1, though the first game was very difficult and I couldn't beat it without skipping levels, though I think I completed the second and third ones. 
I also love Crash Bash, which is a mini game collection party style game. That was a, a super fun game too. I really liked the Kingdom Hearts series as well. This combines Disney characters and Final Fantasy characters, though I've never played Final Fantasy. Uh, regardless, I really enjoyed this game. I've only ever played the first two and I really like both of them. Next is Plant vs. Zombies. This is a very silly and fun game. I've completed the first one and I've played the second one. I like both of them. Uh, if you've never played it, essentially you have to defend your house against a zombie invasion using plants. It's like a tower defense style game and it's really cool and addicting. Another game I enjoy is Spelunky. I never played the original, but I have played the remake version of it. Uh, it's another fun and addictive game. Next, I've always been a fan of the Tekken series. It's a fighting, fighting game. I started playing when I was little with Tekken 2, then 3, and so on. I've played many of the games. Uh, my, my favorite I've played at this point is Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. Now for other random games that are weird, awesome, and funny. Some of these I have played, others I haven't. The first is Banjo-Kazooie. This is awesome. I loved the first one for the Nintendo 64 when I was younger. I never played the second one. Uh, you control a bear, Banjo, who has a bird, Kazooie, in his backpack and they go on adventures. Next is Conker's Bad Fur Day. I've never played it, but it's similar in a sense to Banjo-Kazooie, but with much more adult humor. I love the references and the disgusting of the game. <laughs> it's hilarious. Next is the Death Spank series. I have played through all three games, Orphans of Justice, Thongs of Virtue, and The Baconing. Well, technically The Baconing is not part of the Death Spank series, but it is exactly like the first two games. Anyway, the game is hilarious. The story is hilarious. I mean, look at that title, Thongs of Virtue. Yes, you need to find thongs that give the wearer a special power. And Santa Claus is one that has a thong. <laughs> oh, that's silly. McPixel is another awesome game. It's a point and click puzzle game that you have to save the day within 20 seconds. There is usually something that's going to explode somewhere and you have to find out where and how to defuse it by combining items and trying different methods. It is hilarious some of the scenes and things you have to do. The next game has to be at the top of the weird game list. It's re-get to school on time. And yes, it is intentionally misspelled like that. It has to be the creepiest, weirdest game ever. I can't, I cannot even describe it. It's awesome though, I think it's really awesome. I've watched people play it and almost everyone gets stuck on the second level because they don't realize that you can kill enemies by, by spitting. Uh, it's so weird and so awesome at the same time. Another totally weird, creepy, yet awesome game is Vidiot Game. I'm telling you, this and Re Get to School on Time and other weird games that are similar could probably cause permanent brain damage. It's so weird. Uh, it's the collection of mini games, but I can't really put the game into words because it's just too weird. So check it out for yourself. And lastly is WarioWare. Uh, it's weird and awesome. It's a game that is a collection of mini games. Many times it's strange random games that don't make any sense, but I really enjoy this game and find it really awesome. Uh, the w only one I played uh, was the first one, WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games for the Game Boy Advance. So that's all for my favorite video games for now. Uh, feel free to share what games you all play or are interested in. Thanks for watching.